Hi, I'm John Ruther, owner of North Star Motorsports in Chicago. We're known as the original racing resource. Here at North Star, we sell performance racing and safety equipment. One of the big products that we sell are brake pads. Let me tell you a little story. I started racing a long time ago and I've raced on this brake pad made in Germany and they now have a, a factory here in Detroit called Pagod. Some people call it Pagod. But these pads, in my opinion, are the finest racing brake pads on the market. I've raced them for a long, long time, both in club racing, professionally. We've used them at the 24 hours of Daytona, the 12 hours of Sebring, on and on. They work. And I've never, ever had a brake problem with these pads. So when we decided to start carrying brake pads as part of North Star's product offering, I knew what brand I wanted to carry. As such, we don't carry anything else. This is it. They make brake pads for virtually any kind of car and in multiple compounds and multiple product families. So the, in this video, I'd like to kind of go over the different product categories that Pagod makes. First, um, they have a category called their RS line. That was their traditional kind of bread and butter race pad that's gone back 15 to 20 years. The pad that many, many people have grown up on, I raced on them for years and years, is called the RS44 compound, and it's orange in color. Many people uh, kind of associate the brake pad that they're using with the color of the pad. Well, that works okay, but now we've got a couple of different ones that are both black, so you have to be a little bit careful. But in any, any sense, the RS44 pad, the orange pad, was the original kind of go-to pad for uh, uh, road racing. Um, it's an okay pad, but 20 years ago it was terrific. Today there are some pads that they make that are even better. And I'll go over those in just a second. So if you're using the orange pad today, it's okay. There's no problem with it. But I would, I would say to you that there are some other alternatives within their product line which may even work better for you. The second pad in the RS line is the RS14 pad. It is a much more aggressive race pad, can handle a whole lot of heat. I personally use these pads on my, on my Porsche RSR race car, and they work great. I mean, when you hit the brakes with this pad, it stops right now. So they're a terrific pad, but some people tend to overslow the car by using these because they are so aggressive and they work well. The, the issue is that they're, even though they're very aggressive, they're pretty easy on rotors for a pad that's this aggressive. All of Paget's pads are designed to be very rotor friendly. They don't carve them up like some brands do, and rotors are expensive, so you want to have a nice trade-off between brake performance, longevity, longevity of pads, as well as rotor wear. Recently, Paget has come out with some new product lines. One of the new categories is called RSL. L stands for Langstrecke, which is in German means endurance racing. Their pads are always yellow in color. The pad that uh, started that product line is a pad called RS19, and then they subsequently updated that pad to another one called RS29. The only difference between those two pads is the 19 pad doesn't have a great deal of initial bite. They both wear equally well. You can run probably a 12-hour race, maybe change the front pads once, probably won't change the rear pads at all. In a 24-hour race, I know we've, we use this pad, and um, you can, you'll change, we changed our front pads once, and the rears we didn't change at all in 24 hours. So it tells you how long these pads will last. The compound that is the most popular uh, is called RS29, and that's a pad that probably, I would guess, 70% of our total brake pad sales are of that compound. It's a, it's a terrific pad. Uh, they've also added three or four other compounds to the RSL family. They are simply more aggressive than, than this pad, for, even for an endurance pad. But most people would use either the RS19 or the RS29 in that product family. The next product family is called RST. It's basically a sprint race pad designed for short-term, uh, shorter races, and it is painted red in color. 
This pad comes in three different um, compounds, uh, and each one is increasingly more aggressive. Uh, it's a terrific pad for short distance racing, um, and um, is, has worked very, very well. If your car is equipped with um, carbon ceramic or um, composite type brake rotors, they make a family of pads called RSC. That pad is compatible with every known type of fiber that's used in the rotors for composite uh, or carbon ceramic type brakes. And they work exceptionally well for people that want to take their car with carbon brakes or ceramic brakes and use them on the racetrack. The last uh, product family is called RSH for historic pads. <clears throat> These pads are used primarily for older race cars and they've compounded um, brake pads that use modern compound technologies in old style brake pads. So you can use your old Porsche 911 from the 60s or early 70s and put a modern compound brake pad on it that is designed to work with your older brake system. So those are the, the product categories that um, Paget has. I will say one thing about the RS29 uh, compound. It is, um, we have many people that say, okay, I want to use a brake pad both on the street and at the track. I would say generally, I wouldn't use any of these pads on the street. These are race pads, except I have several, quite a few customers who run the RS29 yellow pad and they'll use it on the street as well as on the track. You have to be a little careful with it so that you don't glaze the pad by driving it on the street. We're going to do another video uh, which will talk about proper bedding in or breaking in procedures for race pads. And in that video I'll talk about how you can handle and how you treat this pad to be able to be used in a street slash track environment. So that's the uh, scoop on uh, Paget race pads and uh, if you have any questions about this there's full detailed information on our website about each of the compounds that's available uh, in each of these product uh, families and I would say that the one thing you need to be aware of is that not every pad in every compound is available for every application. So you have to be a little careful when you take a look at our website. Not every pad may be listed. If you have any questions about it, just give us a call. Our phone number is 800-356-2080. Thanks for watching.